start the next part of the, the uh, uh, forum. I'm going to introduce to you Dot High IDN creation. The, I'm going to speak about the principles of the registration, the history, and also about uh, what is going on right now and uh, what are our prospective projects. In 2012, the Armenian Internet community started public uh, discussions around Armenian letter ID and registration. Summing up the uh, response of the um, population, we created a steering committee and in the result of the work of that steering committee, we achieved the support and confirmation of all the um, uh, authorities and agencies that uh, were uh, on whom the decision was uh, uh, depending. And in 2014, ICANN Corporation Board of Directors confirmed the Armenian letter domain right for the Armenian internet community. Then the registration policy was developed according to which taking into account the international experience, priority of registration was to be given to state bodies, corporations, and also trademark uh, owners. The process took place uh, five months, in which period we had 200 applications. Then we did market expansion. Uh, all interested parties were applying, and actually that stage took place two months. After uh, starting from April this year, we started the general registration phase. According to the principles of registration, in dot high domain, the anything is allowed only in Eng uh, Armenian letters, with the exception of the letter Yev, this letter, which is and, and uh, uh, Latin, certain Latin symbols. In case of the registration of a second level name, say any name dot high, uh, internet uh, is uh, this domain, well, our community is uh, has the authority not to, to limit the le registration in other Latin letters, uh, with the exception when the second uh, level uh, name is registered by the registrar. And in the case of using forbidden symbols, the internet community has is entitled to limit the registration of the domain. So this is done currently by 16 organizations authorized. It is a little bit more than 300 registered names. As compared, I could say what is the statistics in other countries, like in Georgia, who almost uh, in parallel with us started the registration. They have already 2,000 domain names. Macedonia, with two years, has around 700 domain registers. Serbia started uh, registration with its uh, national alphabet in 12 2012, and now they have around 7,700 registrations. Although the six-month history of the implementation, maintenance of domain high, ID and high, it is really short. Nevertheless, it is evident to us that we have a lot to do in this sphere. And one of the first things we have to take care about it is raising awareness of the society, of the public. And so we anticipate, or we plan, better say, to uh, accomplish certain series of events or initiatives, which includes close cooperation with the Ministry of Diaspora of Armenia, <clears throat> a wide-scale work with different communities, also communities of Armenians in diaspora, also the so-called um, uh, promotion campaigns using new methods and um, media. Also, uh, there are, historically, internet was designed on the Latin alphabet base. Recently in the world, not Latin domain implementation is 
acquiring uh, wide acceptance. That is, the Internet becomes multilingual. However, the existing standards do not allow to fully implement not Latin letter solution in Internet. Google, Microsoft, and uh, uh, big other companies are trying to find solutions to this. As of now, the, it is applicable uh, the, before the at symbol using only the Latin letter uh, usage. Of course, we could welcome the experience of Chinese operators who have managed the implementation of completely not Latin, Latin letter email uh, addresses. And it is possible to use not only in Chinese, but in other languages. And also, you can uh, use uh, for delivering letters written with address with one language to do it to other language address only with corresponding applications. Well, no, of course, uh, the work will reveal certain shortcomings, and let's hope that other applications and systems will make the corresponding changes so as everywhere the email implementation or email maintenance in national language addresses will be a reality. I want to say that our um, uh, work from that point of view, the usefulness of Armenian letter IDN is really very multi-directional. It is also for millions of Armenian uh, internet users. We are convinced that Armenian letter IDN is able to multiply the number of users, and it will also help to disseminate the um, Armenian language, as in Armenia, as in among the diaspora communities, making easier the access to Armenian language content in the internet. After registering Armenian language, Armenian letter domains, we will not need to, say, distort our language or to all communities, organizations, individuals can have their own Armenian letter names in the internet. Summing up my uh, presentation, I want to call the Armenian society you to use the 21st century tool of communication internet to support this initiation, which we sure will help the Armenian diaspora to preserve their Armenian identity, and uh, it will promote the use of Armenian keyboard and implementation of different Armenian fonts, especially in the diaspora will allow to raise the knowledge level of knowledge of Armenian language in the internet and it will enrich the Armenian content. Thank you very much for attention. Now I want to invite the um, participants of the next panel session. Van Sipian is the moderator and he will I invite Vahan Kiropian, Marina Mahitarian, Shushan Harutsunyan, Matvey Alexeyev, and our uh, yeah, protocol note taker, where is Ani, who is protocolizing the presentations. Yeah, now our participants will approach soon. And да, и если вы будете говорить по-русски, нет никаких проблем. Я буду переводить вас на английский, как было сказано. То есть можете сделать презентацию на русском тоже. Окей, мы можем начать. Я думаю, социальные нетворки как инструмент для бизнес-развития или как бизнес-инструмент. Why did we choose this topic as a topic of discussion at Armenian IGF? Well, in the reality, I do think that for Armenians, especially for Armenians who are uh, all over the world, the social networks are exactly the tool that not only can promote practical or business connections and relations, it could become that reactive 
leverage means that might make closer our communities. It can solve a lot of questions, but this time we are going to focus on using social networks as business tools, and for that purpose we have very interesting and very no knowledgeable experts. We have uh, experts from Armenia and from Russian Rumbler company who will also uh, present their opinions. So here, social network as a business tool. Marina, what do you think? What are the perspectives of social networks in our reality as a business tool? Thank you. Thank you, Vahan. I would not like to start from a provocative statement. In the course of the break, we were talking, and the dynamics that we see in the social networks, at least it shows me that the social network is not the tool that is working with the inertia of Gutenberg. It's not just a tool that you broker something and have some results. It has, uh, it is becoming more as a partner than a tool. And if we look at the approach that is maintained um, in respect of social networks, this is not in respect of business tool, but it is in respect of business partner, that attitude. Like if we take the keywords like loyalty to social network, uh, this shows that the business uses social network as peer to peer on equal basis. In our case, we, uh, Kolba Lab is an organization that is solving social problems while working with the government and working with social issues. And this becomes more essential when you take the social network in a wider meaning, uh, not as uh, simply a tool for reaching something, but that is your partner and has the same uh, goals that you have. That is, this is um, uh, creating value-based social network, part of which you are not just a manager or not which is or not the user uh, master using it that is the tendency that we see now in the development of social networks thank you it's interesting that when we say um, social network as a business tool about well, business is different business could be uh, social business it could be political business it could be like commercial business trading business whatever from that point of view the social network as much as it is a possibility that much most probably is a danger and it's important to raise that issue as well is it however possible to manage it or how to um, foster it how to encourage its development and manage the risks we have a participant from russia uh, rambler uh, matvey alexeyev is the foreign affairs director of rambler matvey uh, uh, your opinion what do you think uh, what is your attitude to the development of networks and what are your approaches to the development of networks, using networks as business tools. Uh, am I allowed to make my presentation later? This is only the opinion, or just uh, this is the time for my uh, uh, presentation? I have prepared a presentation, honestly. So this is time. Indeed, Matvey has a very interesting presentation. Now we are going to install it, and I will tell you what's our attitude to the development of business and to the development of networks. So even more than that, you can come close to the microphone and do it from here. Uh-huh. Yeah, before that, you can tell us a little about Rambler. Well, good morning. It's really very nice. I want to thank the organizers that who have they have invited me to this wonderful country. This is the first time in Armenia. This is the first time I'm in Yerevan. I am overwhelmed with emotions because when you you always look at everything through uh, from the through the display of the computers, uh, we know we infor- get information through <coughs> communication channels, and it's quite different when you watch it when you arrive and you uh, die into this 
atmosphere where everybody is so nice, where there is so much sun. And when, for the first time from the uh, window of your hotel, you have seen Ararat, this is an unforgettable impression. And it says a lot about the people who live in this country, about their attitude to their own land, about to their socium of communications. If we were to speak about Rambler, then quite recently, on September 26, we had our 20th anniversary. So 1996, 26 of September, Rambler.ru was registered, which is one of the oldest internet projects of Russia. In due time, we were leaders in Poisk, leader in search engines, leader in post services. Rambler is a, now a service portal, a group of companies, includes uh, Lentaru, Gazetaru, Dotaru, Championat.com, LifeJournal.com. We have agreement with Life Journal Incorporated for developing the marketing Life Journal in Russia. That's why we have direct uh, connection. To, they also have direct connection to social networks. And of course, Rambler also is postal service, different vertical directions connected with business, finances, real estate, auto, family, education, everything that is connected with the most uh, necessities, uh, the needs of the people and possibilities uh, of internet. Uh, and I can speak a lot, by the way. Where is. Uh, th th there are very important th um, concepts there already defined. That's why I wanted very much to. Okay, I will start my presentation just trying to remember what I have prepared. Actually, today, a lot, yesterday and before yesterday, we talked a lot about our uh, interrelations with the government. So, my presentation from one side is going to be devoted to the development of businesses through the communication channels that are providing the social networks. And from the other side, there is something very important development of business in any channels of communication, which is impossible without the participation of the government. And we see the trend recently, in the recent times that in every country, be it Asia, Europe, Caucasus, or America, they have started to think about uh, that uh, either you have somehow to stimulate business in internet, or you have to regulate it somehow again in the internet for developing business, or you have to use some kind of regulation mechanism, self-regulation mechanism. But very few think about it. Everybody speak social networks and business. Well, there should be some legislation in between that is uh, corresponding to the laws of these or other countries. Could be European Union, USA, our favorite China, which we always bring as an example, and I like it very much. They have the most tough internet in China. Well, explain me, would you please, if they have the toughest internet, why the Chinese companies are conquering all the markets in the world in Russia, USA, Europe, through AliExpress, through other, why do they have the biggest number of mobile users. They have around billion users of web and I think 600 million users of mobile means. Well, in Russia, there is only 100 users of internet and they have only 600 mobile users. Why do they say that the Chinese example of internet is bad? It is developing, it is stimulating, it is self-developing, they are conquering markets. Why do they say about European either good ones or bad ones. Uh, well, uh, in France, for example, five years ago, if they were uh, downloading illegally f movies, they were to pay for it 500 euros in France. OK, with your permission, I will be working. <coughs> OK, so th here is my presentation. I'm going back to. Exactly. So transformation of information space. When we speak about social networks, we forget a little that there is social media, online media. There, there are different cross-board products. Uh, that's why speaking about social networks, in my opinion, is a little bit obsolete. It's old. We have to speak about information space in which all of us together exist. Because the same reference in the social networks to, let's say, press release about to business when we speak about business. It makes it not just a social business, but it is not yet business. Uh, so I call it information space. If we were to speak about social networks, I'm going to make all examples from Russia. It's simply convenient for me. This data of our very good uh, partners, Brand Analytics, one of the companies that is doing monitoring of social networks in Russia, you can see that the most active social networks naturally are 
<clears throat> the microblogs, Facebook, Instagram, and the others, but around 560 million messages are communicated per month. We haven't uh, counted here Adnaklasniki because, well, uh, Adnaklasniki is closed, so it's, uh, it contains a lot of private information. Of course, the most popular is Vkontakte uh, by the number of authors. Yeah, we see, people are just writing and they are titled authors. Why do social uh, networks are not uh, peer now equalized to the social media? There are uh, SMEs there are uh, social networks, there are blogs, there are blog platforms. Each of them has different names. But if we take the number of audience, look here, as of now in Russia, 68,000 and more million, actually, it says. Or these are the uh, means of uh, me media, uh, uh, journals, catalogs, newsletters, newspapers, whatever. And 68 uh, million active accounts in the social networks. Imagine. 84,000 means of uh, mass media and 68 million users, mobile users, because all of us we are walking around with mobile devices. We talked uh, with colleagues from Dagestan, South, uh, Northern Caucasus, kabardino balkaria and there the youth uses only mobile devices there. 90% of audience uses mobile devices there. They do not enter uh, into a web from normal or standard computers, oh, no, only mobile instruments. The number of online users in Russia, nobody has ever managed to count. A lot uh, is facing these issues because we have the law on uh, mass media where very uh, clearly is defined what is mass media and what even up to the level of the salary to the uh, of the journalists is defined there but as of now in the social networks the online media is also growing one of the biggest examples is uh, this is the union of big picture union of uh, uh, photographers, uh, mm, uh, they created an um, uh, online journal, and then from that they have grown into a huge project, Big Picture. Uh, this is a bigpicture.ru site, which has grown out from social networks. This is an online media, but it is not covered by the law on the uh, media. That And <coughs> The uh, same uh, uh, is uh, with, uh, we have also, um, so uh, the legislation is kind of uh, very um, comprehensive and it uh, weakens it, uh, both marketing, both. Well, uh, I have prepared uh, this presentation rather long. I changed it twice, changed it when we were discussing with Van what I have to speak about social networks and business. One of the main tasks of the business is um, uh, to include it includes as well the de development of the mar market including through social networks raise the media grams and that's the biggest problem in all countries because when we discussed with our colleagues uh, um, there were uh, uh, very few young people, the generation that has created uh, internet, they are there, but where's youth? Uh, youth is now less interested in respect of engineers, the specialists to the structure of internet. Uh, the domain registrations, they p p complain that there are no uh, there is no labor force. Nobody understands everything. Well, you can enter Facebook, I don't know, contact and whatever. They are all hipsters. They put on the 3D uh, Googles and uh, go walking around. And do not specialize deep. And in Russia, several organizations have decided that they are going to present the interests of uh, users. Uh, well, these abbreviations are presenting different organizations that are presenting the interests of uh, users and are on different level representing uh, the um, users and providers of internet. Uh, uh, Free, for example, is the fund of the development of internet initiative more concentrated on the work with startups. This is the development of Mediagram, business for the ecosystem. The second part, which is about the media literacy, is the 
state. We are participating a lot recently in the work of all institutes that are connected with uh, power and technologies, administration of the president, upper and lower chambers of the parliament. Have you ever thought that small internet companies like we are only 20 years old would be in all working groups up to the level of the expert control of the highest level? Do we need it? We are a business, but nevertheless, we do not. Everybody forgets that a lot depends on the state because they are writing laws. We very well know the American word lobbyism when some companies or associations are lobbying their interests. Now, everybody is facing this. And uh, in European Union, Google could not, for example, uh, to lobby some legislations there. I read the article. Google and Apple are uh, spending in uh, Europe four and point million dollars only on lobbyists that are lobbying these or other uh, laws and uh, legal enactments. This is a very important part of the work that is uh, combining all channels of communication. Why do I say all this? I sp specifically prepared a slide on money, so as you understand what money we're speaking about. In Russia, two small internet business is providing 2.4% percent of the uh, uh, gross domestic product. But the internet def uh, dependence of economy is 19 percent. We have started to speak about internet things, thing, internet of things. Don't forget, these are the same uh, services and same communications. Yesterday, we laughed uh, that at a presentation